Hey guys, John Christensen here, Avid Customer Success. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the difference between straight importing and what you can do with AMA linking, so you can get your footage into Media Composer and start editing. The main goal of importing is to get your clips into Avid's own directories and get them into an Avid native format. Avid will operate more smoothly when files are put into its own organized system, and Avid Codex will allow for faster, more responsive reading, and therefore editing. Now importing is the general feature you would expect to be the best route when bringing footage into an editing program. To use the import function, go to file and import here. And then navigate to your files. Down here we have an options tab with advanced options. And here you can pick the resolution that you want Avid to bring the footage in with. Here you pick your drive and then you select open. Before you do that though, there are some things you should know about this way of importing. First, Importing like this has limited functionality when it comes to making sure the format's converted properly. The import feature is made of older code, so it's a little inefficient. Also, if the format of your clips is not in an Avid codec like GNX HD or XDCAM, you can't fast import, so you're in pretty bad shape. Importing like this takes forever compared to other importing methods. In some cases, it can take more than twice as long. This is not great. Another possible route is linking the footage with AMA which stands for Avid Media Access. This will allow you almost instant access to your media by linking to the original source file, so you can start editing a lot sooner. To link to AMA, go to File, Link to AMA Volume, or Link to AMA Files. Volume will take a whole folder, Files will be specific files that you choose. In my case, I'm going to go with Files. So I select these, and then you click Open. And right over here, voila, that fast, they're there, ready to go. Now a clip is signified as linked with AMA by the chain links here in the icon. This means Avid is actually directing itself towards a source file at its location in your directories. If the source file is removed at any point, the linked AMA file in Media Composer won't know where to find the footage and you'll get a media offline. It's important to know that though editing is possible with linked AMA footage, the situation isn't really ideal as it'll bring on a performance hit especially with compressed formats like DSLR H.264 footage, like this. Keep this in mind, all you DSLR users, to save yourself some headaches down the road. Okay, so you have your files linked with AMA. From here, there are a few options. You can go with consolidation or transcoding. Consolidating footage is very useful. It takes footage that has been linked to AMA, wraps it in Avid's MXF wrapper, and puts it into Avid's drives. This doesn't take up nearly as much time nor space as a direct import or transcoding, and it also allows the user to specify formats and make specific choices. It's a win-win all around, except if you're using DSLR footage, in which case Avid just won't do it. Avid can only consolidate with native resolutions. I'll get to you with what you can do about that in a moment. To consolidate footage, highlight the specific footage you wish to consolidate, and then right-click and click Consolidate Transcode. In this menu, you can choose between consolidation or transcoding. We're going to select consolidate this time. You can select your target drive here, so say I'm going to go to the G-RAID here. And then you can convert the audio sample rate if you wish. If you click on that, it's going to show you the space that Avid requires to actually make the files and how much space is available on that specific drive. Once you're ready, you consolidate. What you see here is what's going to happen if you have DSLR footage or something that's incompatible. I'm going to click consolidate, keep the master clips. And then all clips were skipped during the consolidate transcode operation. No good. If you're looking for what to do with your DSLR footage, you're going to want to transcode. In the next vid, I'll talk about transcoding and how transcoding can help you out. Alright, see you next time.